वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस बाय विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास इलेवेंथ केमिस्ट्री वी विल स्टार्ट न्यू यूनिट यूनिट फोर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मोलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑक्टेट रूल कोवरेंट बॉन्ड एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफ ऑक्टेट रूल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज केमिकल बॉन्ड बिफोर डिस्कसिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन जनरल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बॉन्ड बॉन्ड मीन्स अट्रैक्शन okay attraction force between two objects two things two peoples that is known as bond okay if this bond exist between two chemical species then that is known as chemical bond that's why we can say the attractive force which holds various constituents like atoms or ions together in different chemical species is called a chemical bond valence electrons electrons present in the outer most shell are known as valence electrons and this outer most shell is also known as valence shell lewis symbols valence electrons of an atom are represented by dots or crosses around the symbol of the element that is known as lewis symbols for example that is lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon and these dots represent the number of valence electrons present in these elements in fluorine seven valence electrons are there that's why seven dots are there in nitrogen five valence electrons are there five dots around the nitrogen okay significance of lewis symbol valence electrons helps to calculate the common or group valency of element and in lewis symbols dots represent the valence electrons the group valency of the elements is generally either equal to the number of dots in lewis symbol or 8 minus the number of dots or valence electrons so you can see in this like boron what its valency dots are 3 that's why its valency is 3 in carbon valency is 4 in nitrogen what is the valency 8 minus 5 this is 3 in case of oxygen this is 8 minus 6 that is valency is 2 in fluorine 8 minus 7 valency is 1 the same way we can also find out the valency of other elements octet rule theory of chemical combination between atoms is known as electronic theory of chemical bonding it was developed by cosell and lewis in 1916 and according to this atoms can combine either by transfer of valence electrons from one atom to another transfer means gaining or losing or by sharing of valence electrons in order to have an octet in their valence cells now what is the meaning of this octet octet means eight electrons okay and this is known as octet rule this is based on the chemical inertness of noble gases noble gases are very less reactive why because presence of eight electron in their valence cell that's why noble gases are stable in the same way elements which are not having eight electron in their outermost shell they try to achieve this octet either by gaining or losing or sharing of electrons this is octet rule covalent bond lewis postulated that atoms achieve the stable octet when they are linked by chemical bonds langmuir another scientist introduced the term covalent bond According to Lewis Langmuir theory a covalent bond is formed by sharing a pair of electron between two bonded atoms you can see this this is one chlorine atom this is another chlorine atom when both are bonded they are bonded by sharing of this one electron pair in this way both achieve the octet okay you can also see formation of covalent bond by sharing of electron pairs single covalent bond if covalent bond is formed by sharing a 
pair of electron it is called a single covalent bond and it is represented by a line between the two atoms you can see this is one hydrogen atom this is another hydrogen atom each hydrogen atom has one single electron and when these two hydrogen atoms join and share this one electron pair a single covalent bond is formed and this is represented by placing a line between these two bonded atoms one thing more you have to remember in case of hydrogen duplicate is completed okay double bond if two atoms share two pairs of electrons then double bond is formed example is o2 these two oxygen atoms are sharing these two pairs of electron and in these two pairs of electron each oxygen atom contributed two electrons okay and double bond is formed this double bond is represented like this and these electrons which are not taking part in the bond formation are known as non bonded electrons or lone pairs of electrons triple bond if two atoms share three pairs of electrons then triple bond is formed like this is nitrogen each nitrogen atom share three pairs of electrons and in this shared pair of electron each nitrogen atom contribute these three electrons okay and triple bond is represented by placing these three parallel lines between bonded atoms and the octet of each nitrogen atom is completed and these type of structures in which we represent the valence electrons are known as, known as lewis dot structures okay and in the next video we will discuss how to write lewis structures multiple bonds double and triple bonds collectively known as multiple bonds limitations of the octet rule first one is the incomplete octet of the central atom this is especially the case with elements having less than four valence electrons then their octet is not completed for example lithium chloride beryllium hydride boron trichloride and their lewis structures can be represented like this and this octet of this chlorine is completed but octet of this lithium is not completed in the same way octet of beryllium is not completed in beh2 in the same way octet of boron is not completed in bcl3 with boron only six electrons are there and in all these structures lithium beryllium and boron have one two and three valence electrons respectively other examples alcl3 and bf3 that's why these are considered as a electron deficient species another limitation is odd electron molecules in molecules with an odd number of electrons like nitric oxide no and nitrogen dioxide no2 the octet rule is not satisfied for the nitrogen atoms see this is the lewis structure of no octet of oxygen is completed okay but this octet of nitrogen is not completed they say with nitrogen how many electrons are there here there is double bond is there they say four electrons 4 plus 2 6 and plus 1 seven electrons are there the same way octet of this oxygen is completed octet of this oxygen is also completed but octet of this nitrogen is not completed again seven electrons are there how double bond is there that's why four electron this is a single bond two electron and this is one electron 4 plus 2 plus 1 seven electrons are there these are odd electron molecules next one is expanded octet elements in and beyond the third period of periodic table have apart from 3s and 3p orbitals 3d orbitals also available for bonding in a number of compounds of these elements there are more than 8 valence electrons around the central atom and this is termed as the expanded octet you can see this is pf5 phosphorus pentafluoride this phosphorus is bonded with the five single bond 
with the five fluorine atoms and in this way eight electrons around sorry ten electrons around the phosphorus atoms in the same way sf6 sulfur hexafluoride the sulfur makes six bonds okay with six fluorine atoms then we can see 12 electrons around the sulfur atom this h2so4 sulfuric acid in sulfuric acid see this is sulfur how many electrons around this sulfur double bond that's why four electron this is single bond two electron this is single bond two electron double bond four electron in this way if you count 12 electrons around the sulfur atom these are the examples of expanded octet but sulfur also forms many compounds in which the octet rule is obeyed for example sulfur dichloride hcl2 you can see this if you count the electrons around the sulfur eight electrons are there okay now some more limitations of octet rule octet rule is based upon the chemical inertness of noble gases however some noble gases for example xenon and krypton also combine with oxygen and fluorine to form a number of compounds like xcf2 krf2 xeof2 etc this theory does not account for the shape of molecules it does not explain the relative stability of the molecules being totally silent about the energy of a molecule these are the limitations of the octet thank you subscribe my channel to get the new videos from this chapter